Hey, this is Joe from Personas. Today I'm going to show you how to comp vocals in Studio One. What is comping? C-O-M-P-I-N-G. I think it's short for compilation or compile or compost. I don't know. It has to do with recording multiple takes of something, like a vocal, and then taking the best bits from each one. Now, I grew up grew up in the Pro Tools world, and back then, comping was a lot of copying and pasting. So you got good with the keyboard shortcuts where you could copy from here and then come up here and paste it, but you had to make sure you were pasting the exact same spot or things got kind of wonky. Then you had to add a bunch of crossfades. Studio One makes that a lot easier. So if you did that 15 years ago, it's gotten easier since the last time you did it, if the last time you did it was 15 years ago. So before I show you how it works, I do need to record a couple of takes of vocal. So let's do that now. I comped myself today to see if I still can. Okay, so that's one take, but I want to do more. Now, some people will just create a bunch of vocal tracks and record all the vocals that way. Don't do it that way. That's an annoying way to do it. Press F4. And that opens up the inspector on the left-hand side. And you'll see this little section here called layers, like an onion. And you go over, oh, I'm on the wrong track. Select the track you're recording to. Then come up here, and under layers, you'll see this is vocal one. And I just want to add a layer. It's going to say, what do you want to name it? Vocal two is great. And then I start recording again. Don't worry, that didn't get deleted. It's just another layer that's hidden from view so that I can record again. Let's do it. I comped myself today to see if I still can. Okay, so there's a mistake there. We're going to leave it in. This is just to show you some ideas. One more take. Why not? <clears throat> I comped myself today to see if I still can. And let's say that's good enough. So now we have our vocals recorded. I'm going to take these headphones off because why not? Okay, I've recorded three takes of vocal, but where'd they go? Let's find out. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is press this button here to just, let's just show the vocal track. Might make life a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm just showing you the vocal track now. And if you come over here on the bottom left-hand side of the channel, little bitty button that if you hover over it, it says expand layers. If you click on that, you'll see, ah, there they are. My three takes. This one that we just recorded is currently active. And then we've got two more down here. And the way we can listen between the, the three is to just solo the different layers. And it will let us hear this bottom layer, for example, instead of the top two. I comped myself. I comped myself. And we can quickly listen between them. However, this isn't comping. Right now we're just listening to them. So what do we do next? Here's what I like to do. I like to come up here to layers and add another layer and call this one comp. So now I have a total of four layers. The active layer is up here that's currently blank. You can tell which one it is by seeing what it's called here. We can select different ones to be the active one. I want the comp layer to be the active one. And then underneath, kind of almost almost like a folder track, but significantly different for a couple of reasons. Underneath, we can see our different takes. What's cool about this is I can never hear more than one at a time, which is exactly how you want it to work. So even if we wanted to solo our vocal, right, so we're not hearing the other instruments in the mix, we still have a secondary solo button here that operates a little bit differently. This lets me hear the different takes, okay? So if I want to hear this first one, I just go here, select it, and we listen. I comped myself today. And to quickly hear the next one, we just click on the next solo button. I comped myself today. And the third one. I comped myself today. All right, cool. So now we're going to go through the process of just over two phrases of showing you how to comp this vocal. Just keep in mind, if you want to record five takes of vocal and then comp from there, that's great. And you just continue the process th throughout the length of the song. I prefer three takes when I can. Five just gets to be overwhelming. Not overwhelming, it's just tedious to have to go through all five. I'll record three takes 
if I'm doing takes at all. And then if I feel like I have a better take in me, I'll record over the worst take usually. So it keeps me with just three options. Makes my life a little bit easier. So I think I like the second one the best. I comped myself today. At least that first half. So how do we create our compilation? Well, there's no copying and pasting needed. Uh, you don't even have to change tools. Studio One automatically gives us this kind of a cursor, a different looking cursor. It looks kind of like an I, maybe. The letter I or, I don't know, some funky looking cursor you don't see anywhere else. And if I just click and drag over this particular piece of audio, bam, it copies it up here. And now I can move on to the next section. I can either ho hover over this edge to extend that out, or if I want to choose a different section, I just highlight it there. The coolest part is it automatically adds in all my crossfades. So I don't have to go in and do that later. It's just smart like that. Um, so real quickly, I liked this one, I think. So let's listen to it. By deselecting solo, now we're just listening to whatever is in this comp uh, layer at the top, right? When none of these little solo buttons are selected, we're listening to whatever is the active layer. I comped myself. I think the I could be a little bit better. How about take three? I comped myself. I like the I, I don't like the comped. And these vocals are ridiculous. So I'll select that one. Now let's listen to how that sounds together. I comped myself. Pretty cool. I'll take this one down a little bit volume wise to match up a little better. I comped myself. Okay, cool. And let's see if we like the today. Whenever I'm comping a vocal, I usually, if I'm moving on to the next section, I'll just see, okay, how far can I go with the current one that's there? Because that's going to be the one that sounds the most natural, is if I just continue this take. So it's kind of a how far can you go sort of thing. So we go from here and just keep listening. Self today. Eh, not super great. Let's listen to the others. Self today. I like that one better. How about the first one? Self today. I think I like that one the best. It's a little more straightforward, but I kind of like it. So we'll go and cut right here and let that one become the top one. Now let's listen to our current comp. I comped myself today. Okay, so the F carried over. So let's just decide to go one way or the other. Let's go this way. Right about there should be good. And that was a little wonky too. Let's take a listen. I comped myself today. Now, keep in mind, there's still, you know, there's little pitch issues here and there. Um, I'm comping for the best performance, and then I can still go back to this entire layer and melodyne the whole thing later. So that's for another day. But let's keep going on this top layer, see if we like the second half. To see if I still can. To see if I still can. Was, that was just terrible. Let's uh, listen to the second one had the mistake. To see if I still can. <laughs> so stupid. Here's the third one. To see if I still can. I think the third one's my favorite and kind of the only good option there. So we'll go with that one. So now we have our comped together vocal. And what's kind of handy is Studio One intuitively kind of gives each one a slightly different color. And we can see based on the way this looks visually, uh, where they came from. So I can see this chunk came from here because this is the only one that has color in this section and this section. So I can kind of look and see where everything came from. I can actually get rid of that first section as well. And so we have our final comped vocal here. I comped myself today to see if I still can. And that works. Okay, that's an overview of the comping process. Word of advice, don't get in there too much where you're taking just syllables from each word and piecing together this, this Frankenstein vocal track. So I've done that occasionally in situations where it's just the only option I had. But be careful. Just because you can have a thousand little slices in your vocal comp doesn't mean you should. And try to have as much of a section by section approach as you can, I think you'll end up with a better sounding vocal overall. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe. There's a lot of cool stuff on this channel. And I don't want you to miss out. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya.